The entire season has built to this moment. We wrap up high school sports this week and the slog through a rough spring felt worth it under a beautiful sunny sky in Polson. The Class A softball tournament played the first eight games in the bracket. Hamilton held off Ronan 9-7 in the first round. Lewistown topped Miles City. Columbia Falls walked off with a dramatic 4-3 win over Stevensville. And Laurel took down Livingston. That set up the second round showdowns later. Hosting Polson looking right at home versus Lewistown. Bottom of the third, Lewistown did have a 1-0 lead. But with the bases loaded, Polson's Lexi Orion changes that with one swing. A grand slam to left. And Polson is suddenly up 4-1. to one. And in the bottom of the sixth, Pirates pulling away. Kobe Smith with an RBI hit to center to make it 9-1. Polson scored a couple more to end the game due to the 10-run rule. Pirates cruise 11-1. Hamilton's opening round win gave them a chance against the Eastern A champs from Harden. Top of the third inning, Hamilton's Jordan Taggart rips this one to the fence, scores a pair of Bronx in the scoreless game, and puts Hamilton up 2 to nothing. Harden gets a run, so top of the seventh, 2-1, bases loaded, two outs, Hamilton looking for some insurance. Abby Johnson rips it, but Cora Wood, an incredible diving catch in left field to end the inning. That gave Harden one last chance, but Taggart was doing it all in this game. She had the two RBIs. She also gets eight strikeouts, including the last one there. Hamilton stays in the winner's bracket 2-1. to one. Frenchtown always a threat in this tournament. The Bronx took on a tough challenge from the Laurel locomotives. Laurel led 1-0 after one, but in the bottom of the second, Haley Halbick lines that one into right. One run scores, but the second runner is thrown out at home. That ends the inning. We're tied 1-1. Frenchtown would take a 4-1 lead after a three-run homer by Taylor Guerin. Now in the seventh, it's Laurel's last chance. Taylor Feller goes deep off the top of the fence for a solo shot. It makes a 4-2, but Claire Bagnell ends the game with a strikeout moments later, and the Bronx march on 4-2. But everybody in this bracket is chasing two-time defending champ Belgrade. The undefeated Panthers looked unbeatable versus Columbia Falls. Bottom of the second, it was 3-0. Maddie Krieger slams a three-run homer the opposite field to make it six-zip. The Panthers shut out the Wildcats 10-0 in five innings, and Belgrade will meet Frenchtown tomorrow.